Javelin Pro Duo from Lava Tools. Sweet. So I've been wanting an um, instant re thermometer for a while now. Uh, so this is what I've been starting with. As I started my, as I just moved into the kitchen, I'm still building on my stuff. I've been using this in particular recently for creme brulee. And when I was making the creme brulee, I was looking for a particular temp range. And this is something you can get at just Target. Just a simple probe thermometer. And, you know, one of the things I like to do is start as cheap as possible and then upgrade if needed. So what's cool about this is it's got a clip. Never used it though. Sheath just to protect the probe. And then on and off button. Right? Uh, but here's the thing. This is not instant. When I put this in stuff, say in, in a roast or like creme brulee that last time, or a sauce, or for, I don't know, whatever I need to do, it, it's been slow and I don't know how accurate this has been actually. So um, it worked, but I don't know. It's, you know, there's much better out there after doing some research. So check this out. So if I turn this on, See how it's just it's it's setting, okay? I'm gonna hold on to it. I hope you see that. See how the, the temperature changing like uh one degree at a time. Look how slow that is. That is really rough when your finger is um in the um in the, your your hand is inside the oven and you're just waiting. You're waiting. You gotta stick it and leave it, but you can't close the door because this is not really rated for that heat. Um, so, and particularly creme brulee, something as delicate as creme brulee, keeping a steady hand is just making that hole bigger. So, um, I knew it was time to upgrade and this is what I settled on. Now, I'm a big fan of, uh, Cook's Illustrated and, uh, um, American Test Kitchen. They need to do a, uh, a pretty damn good job to where if they recommend something, I'm going to listen. And, uh, in the instant read thermometer, there's two major ones is this one and uh, Thermalworks Thermapen Mark IV. I think without a doubt, a lot of people say, don't even bother with anything else, just get um, Mark IV. The, diff the major thing though, is that um, that was ranked number one for um, uh, American Disc Kitchen, but this was ranked number one for mid-level. Now, when I compared the two, the thing that really jumped out for me was uh, the price. So this is literally half the price of the Mark IV. And so what I'm going to do is, um, so I, you know, obviously I'm interested. And so, uh, let's take a look at this, this unboxing. I got this from Amazon ambidextrous display. So you can, when you turn it, it flips or should magnetic attachment. So I can leave it onto the side of my, uh, fridge where I store most of my stuff. Stabilization, motion, sleep and wake, antimicrobial coating. Has some extra stats here. So let's give it a go. Pretty cool. What does it come with? Ooh. Manual. Who reads these? Only read these when I need to read it. Stabilization. Rhythm. Okay. Okay, cool. So on top of that, there's a lot of cool little features. Let's try this guy. Nice. Cool. So when I open this, I just turn on. There we go. Cool. I already see that it's faster, but I'm going to test this out a little later. But when I flip it, there we go. Switch. And then here, there's the light and it's holding. So what's cool about this is you can go in there and check in the oven blind, hold this button, take a look. And when it, you let go, it should go back to live. So that's pretty cool. I mean, 
The main thing you want out of these is the ability to be instant, accurate, and just the, there's these other features I'm sure that are important, but really I was prompted to buy this because of the speed. So um, cool. So let me read some stuff here. Remember the number one thing about this to me is accuracy. So I have a chart that I made. I'm going to put it up right now. And so Javelin Pro versus the Thermapen. Thermapen, $100. Javelin Pro, Pro $54.99. Uh, accuracy. Thermapen is better in accuracy, but think about this. Or the Thermapen is more accurate, but it's 0.7 of a degree versus Javelin's 0.9. And uh, the range is way better, definitely for sure on the Thermapen. The range is negative 54, 58 to 392. And then, um, but the Javelin is four to 302. Now I don't do a lot of frozen stuff or cold things, so I figured it'd be fine. I don't need to pay that extra money for that range. Uh, the temperature, the little temperature range of what it can measure for Thermapen is 58, negative 58 to 572. Javelin is negative 40 to 482. So a little bit lower than um, ice water. So that's pretty good. The extra range is nice in the Thermapen, but I don't know. I'm still not convinced on the price. Response time. They're both dead even at two to three seconds. Water resistance is better in the Thermapen at IP6667. I believe this, that means it can be in water for 30 minutes, um, not too deep, and then you pop it right back out. You can't mess with it. And then IP65 means water resistance. So it can get wet, but it can't be dunked, I believe. Um, battery life, Thermapen is 3,000 hours, and then the Javelin is 4,000 hours. You know, 4,000 hours is good, but um, this uses one of those coin batteries, and then the Thermapen uses, I believe, triple A's. So, um, it's easier more readily accessible i don't really i don't think it's too hard to find um disc batteries so i consider this a win four thousand hours certification now this is where i don't really know but uh thermopen is nist traceable calibration certification and the other certifications that javelin has is nsf food safety stuff the c r o h s Mm, not really sure if that's referring to the calibration, but mm, uh, again, I'll give the Thermapen the win on that. Warranty, Thermapen, two years. Javelin, three years. One's made in England, the other in China. Cheaper one from China. And Thermapen won American Top Kitchen's best. And then this one won the best mid-level. Uh, and one of the unique things that really did pull me towards the Mark IV was the ability to calibrate. So... Uh, I've read that people have this for years and years and years, and they can test it in a uh, test the the temp, test it in something that's consistent, like boiling water is like 100 degrees Celsius, and so they can calibrate it themselves. Whereas Javelin Pro, I think you have to send it in to get it calibrated or repaired. But that's the comparison. You know, at fifty dollars less, the other things were good in the extremes, but I just want something just that will work and is quick and is tested and um, people with much more experience can vouch for it and i think i really like this you know one of the things that would really suck is i paid a hundred dollars for a uh, thermometer and it drop it or forget it somewhere and it just gets cracked like that would be crushing 54 doesn't hurt that much so i think this if those are the reasons um uh that's interesting to you then i think the javelin pro is the one there's one really good on paper, but realistically, 50 bucks, that's pretty damn good. So one of the things I want to do now is let's test the accuracy of this and really see what's going on. All right. So after some research, I don't want to I don't want to do the boiling test, but they said here with water and ice it should be 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, let's give this a try. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Thirty five. Let's go. Thirty 
This should be 32. Thirty-three, thirty-two point nine. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Put it around here. So here, thirty-two point five, half a degree, point thirty, thirty-two point three. There we go. It's pretty accurate. That's pr that's a big one right there. 32 degrees great um i'm going to continue to test this and hopefully you know it, it catches a reading faster i don't want i don't like it jumping around okay all right so let's give this a try currently 62 and raw so don't touch the side of the plastic Thirty-two point five, thirty-two point three. That's pretty nice. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, thirty-one point nine, thirty-two. That's bang on. That's awesome. That's good to know. Awesome. You know, I'm curious. This guy I've been using for a while. Uh, let's try this one. So we'll go here. Start mixing around. And just look how long that takes. <laughs> Can't believe I waited this long. Let's take a look. It's going down. That's good. can see how as it closes in on the 32 here it's taking longer and longer perfect dead on 32.0 it's going lower that's pretty good 0.4 degrees off at least I know this is damn accurate within a degree so this will be a good emergency thermometer but yeah so there it is you know with all this stuff i've listed at half the price i just i'm really excited to use this thing um a big roast imagine like a a holiday prime rib rib roast that'd be awesome this would be perfect here or steaks whoo get it down to the degree so i'm really excited about it um and maybe in the long term i will do another review see how i like it but yeah i mean i already know it's gonna be a banger all right guys so that's it let's put this to use huh all right i'm out of here peace